Here I show you the uh, one copy of permit. This is a general work permit. Here section by section. First we see the receiver section. Here we fill the department and unit, work location and equipment. Which equipment you will do the job. This is the equipment number here. Work location where you work need to there put work location. And second part, part B here. Receiver also he fill the receiver. Who take the permit? Who fill the that one? Work to be done. What you do the their job here need to put like you replace the any equipment, mechanical equipment, yeah, electrical equipment, motor here to do the equipment removing with crane or other thing you put here. Okay. Uh, part C personal protective equipment. What you job do there? You choose the here personal protective equipment which is you need. Goggles, air protection, lifeline, leather gloves, dust mark, full body harness, face shield and other two options here not match your personal protective equipment. You put here other two options here you put here. Here part D work site preparation. Work site preparation here description you need to pre uh, preparation like this all option ensure loto is performed there loto perform then put certificate number loto certificate number second man holes catch pits basin swear connection are covered they all are covered then here you put yes process when man holes when direct away from work site then not applicable to not applicable yes means yes work area barricaded warning sign and fence work area barricaded or not put here yes Will this work affect operation or other maintenance job? You do the work in one location, there you check uh, from my side any other location affected or not. Not applicable, then put not applicable, yes, then put yes. SDS data required, safety data sheet, material data sheet, they required, then you put yes and should be attached with the permit. Ensure tools and equipment are inspected by users. You check before using the any tools. This is inspector or not. There the visual display that sticker with the validated date. Ninth may hazard assessment and control completed. You use the hazard assessment like the JSA or hazard assessment. Here we will use the two progression document. Hazard assessment we will use the normal work and JSA we will use the critical work. Here you put the hazard assessment, then yes, and their document number. If required JSA, then put yes, and here JSA number. Gas test required or not? Here one column is a gas tester. Gas tester, if you work inside the operational area and they required gas test, this area have the comfort that there are some availability of chances of toxic gas, then sure decide gas test required or not. Then here you fill oxygen level, LEL, CO, CO2, H2S. Name, authorization number and signature. Who test the gas? Here we see the authorized after joint site visit. Here we issue the permit. Authorized after joint site visit. Issuer and receiver both first visit the site then issue the permit. Here issuer from client side and who is the receiver from here. Extension and endorsement. This validity of permit 12 hours, maximum 12 hours. But we issue the permit uh, 4 hours, 5 hours. I think my job finish in 5 hours, 6 hours, and 8 hours. Then we tick first 8 hours permit. And after we have need to some job, then we do the extension. And any issuer or receiver have emergency and he go outside the plant, then we need to endorsement same. He gives one issuer here sign and one receiver here sign. Then we do the endorsement. Here the close out section permit. Receiver first close permit and then issuer close the permit. Work is complete. If work complete then put yes or not complete then here state the region. You write why not complete the job. Housekeeping completed or not. Here you put yes or no. Then receiver name authorization number signature date and time here the issuer section issuer section work complete or not he confirm housekeeping confirm uh, complete or not notify affected area then he put name authorization number sign and date 
वन इज द लास्ट ईयर लमड़ा सेक्शन एल एम आर ए परमिट रिसीवर ही डिस्कस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द जॉब एनी जॉब यू गो एट साइड एंड आस्क एंड चेक दिस इज द अवेलेबिलिटी और वर्कर नो अबाउट दैट और नॉट फर्स्ट वी चेक द एक्सेस एंड एग्रेस लाइट एडुकेटिंग सेकेंड दिस प्रोवाइडेड देन पुटियस एवरी थिंग शुड बी प्रोवाइडेड एट वर्क लोकेशन इज द is the task safe to do in today weather condition weather condition good or not put yes do all team members have a full understanding of task hazard and mitigation all crew member know about the hazards and job you check and put yes are the manual call point assembly area points and safety source no worker know about that or not yes verify lockout and target you are starting any job isolated job You should be check first verify lockout or tagout. Ensure tools and equipment to be used are inspected and healthy. Before starting use the any tools and equipment you have should be check this is the inspected or not or good condition this tools or not. Here put yes. Verify all control measures in formal JSN or or hazard assessment and control forms are implemented before starting the job. should be attached with the permit hazard assessment or jsa which is the required hazard assessment required then you put the hazard assessment with the permit or jsa required then you put the jsa with the permit here this is the same guest test and here who work at the work location should be all crew member all worker here put the id number and signature id number and signature how many worker they are working first need to put here first you have need to put here number of worker here eight worker if is were required eight worker then you have need to then you have need to sign here all eight worker id number signature id number signature this is the sabik permit and when we start the job first we take this permit for starting the job